NGC, it's just the G here. I am doing a full tutorial on how I do my hair. I've had so many of you go on my social media accounts and request this tutorial, so here we go. First, I just brush all of my hair with my wet brush and I make sure that it's all smooth and detangled before I wet it. Time to wet it, people. <laughs> I've been digging this Olaplex Bond Maintenance Shampoo and Conditioner lately, so I'm going to go in with the shampoo first, and I'm going to squirt a little coin size amount, maybe a little more, and I'm just going to focus on those roots. I just want to really clean my scalp really, really, really well, and just massage that into your scalp for a few minutes. Sometimes I sing, or maybe Nate will be in the bathroom and we'll be chatting. So yeah, just rub it in, girl. Rub it into those roots. Get that dirt out, get that oil out. Mm. Then I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, <laughs> whatever. And then I will rinse it. Now we're gonna go in with that conditioner. I put a lot of conditioner. I'm sure a lot of hair professionals will cringe at that. Anyway, um, I like to just put it on my ends, put it all over my hair, really. I don't find that it makes my hair oily, but it might for yours, so you might just wanna stick to your ends. Now I take my brush and I just comb through with the conditioner all in my hair. When you're done with that, you're just gonna pin it up. I use this little clip, I love these, and I just go about my business in the shower for about five minutes, letting that conditioner soak and make my hair nice and soft. Now it's time to rinse it all off. It's gonna wrap your head like so, and just make sure it's all wrapped in there. And your hair is gonna dry like this for about 15 minutes to just comb through my hair with my fingers. Now, if you have different hair than I do, you can use a brush for this, but I would recommend a wide tooth comb brush. Next, I go in with a little bit of this Bond Smoother by Olaplex. This goes with the shampoo conditioner, so it's just unbelievable. I think it gives so much body to my hair. So I'm just gonna rub that in my hands and put it all over. Next, I'm gonna divide my hair into two major pieces, and I'm gonna put this top one up, and then I'm gonna split this last piece into two and put one of those pieces up as well. You should be left with one piece like this. I'm gonna take my Sam Villa blow dryer. I love this baby, it is so good. And I'm just gonna kinda lightly dry my hair like this. Then I'm gonna go in with my Hot Tools round brush, and I'm gonna take one piece, and I'm gonna blow dry it up away from my face like this, and then over like this. All right, let's get into it. So when you blow dry like this up away from your face, it creates so much body when you let it down. And when you blow dry under like this, you're allowing it to shape to your face really nicely. Some people like it to go out, but I like mine to go in. And it should look like this, nice and bouncy. Now, I don't know about you ladies, but I hate these little baby hairs that I get here. It just looks so bad, so I just kind of blow dry them down while holding it and shaping it down. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did to the first piece with this back piece. I know it looks a little crazy, <laughs> it's okay. It'll all work out. You're just gonna keep going over it until it's nice and dry and smooth. And it should look something like this. Now you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Just take it down in pieces and just keep going over it with your blow dryer until it's smooth. Now you're gonna do this for every single piece of hair, making sure that you're going away from the face to create the most body that you possibly can. Now once you're done with that side, we are just gonna add one more big chunk to that same side. I like to divide it right where my part would be. And I'm gonna take this back piece and I'm just gonna work it the same way away from my head, creating so much body. Now the bottom pieces might look like this, a little bit wavy, that is okay. These are gonna be covered by other pieces anyway, so who cares, girls? Just do the best you can. Now we're gonna keep taking these pieces, okay? Just keep working them away from your face making sure that it's smooth, nice and smooth, nice and dry. Now we're gonna take another big piece and add it to the other side, just like we did with the last side. Now we're just gonna blow dry these pieces the same way away from our face like we have been. Be sure that you're also doing it under as well so that your hair's not flipping out and it's kind of hugging your face nicely. I think this gives it a nice look. So the bottom pieces should look somewhat like this. Now listen up ladies, this is the most important part, okay? The bangs and the back part of your hair. Now you're gonna blow dry this up and away from your head. This is gonna give you so much body. I even bring it really far, almost over my head completely until it's nice and dry and smooth. Now when you release this, it should look like this. 
Do you see what I mean? That this is the most important part. Look at that body, girls. We're not done yet, okay? We got this last piece to do. But go ahead, you can look at your hair one more time. <laughs> now we're gonna take this top piece and we're gonna split it into two. And I'm gonna take the back piece and I'm just gonna blow dry it back away from my face. Keep going till it's nice and smooth. Now, you're just gonna take that piece down and just kind of style it to how you like it. Next, we're gonna take that last piece and we're gonna blow dry it like that, away from the face and then under, like that. I'll show you, don't worry. <laughs> this brush really is the perfect size, especially for short hair, but I used it even when I had long hair and it was so good, it just gives so much body. So just keep doing that till your hair is nice and smooth. <laughs> now we can't forget, we gotta go under so that it can kinda hug our face. Now I take the entire front section of my hair and I wrap it in the brush like this and then I'm gonna blow dry it all together. I call this finishing touches. It's just something that I think makes it look a little better, but you don't necessarily have to do it. Now you're gonna let your hair cool off on this brush and then you're just gonna take it out and look at this beauty. There you have it. This is how I style my hair and all the products that I use to get this big, voluminous blowout. Now if you guys like videos like this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, or if you don't like videos like this, give it a thumbs down so we know not to do it again. Now if you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and join the NGC fam. Bye guys!